So last time we met up with uh, Scott and he showed us his drill powered pony bike and uh, we played around with that. Well, after that shoot, we gave him some new Flexvolt batteries and he's come up with a way to chain them together to drive this, the Lazier Boy. And we're gonna have a little fun with that here a little bit later. And also take a look at his uh, skateboard and uh, play with that a little bit too. Most of my projects are either 36 volt or 48 volt motors. And so I can either connect uh, three of the batteries in series uh, using a variety of <laughs> battery mounts. And, um, and we measured it earlier, it was showing us 61.2 volts. Um, so it is a true 20 volt, you know, maximum output. And, um, and then, yeah, it runs into the little motor underneath. You got throttle here. And then the, this bag I just came up with, I've been mounting underneath here. Um, but someday I'm gonna try and maybe mount it underneath the chair. Uh, although like on the skateboard, I kind of like that you can see the DeWalt batteries. Um, these flexible, I mean, I'm not much of a, a brand snob, but the, the DeWalt logo is right, sits on the outside. And so when I'm driving by a construction site, every person's like, hey, check that skateboard out. It's a DeWalt skateboard, DeWalt powered. And then also just, I, I noticed that the, the battery power is on top versus on these other ones, it's underneath. So I don't still have to flip it over, but um, we should go in too fast to check the battery power. And, uh, and it's amazing, I get one mile per amp hour. And so these are nine, uh, nine amp hour, I get nine miles. Compare it and then uh, combined with uh, the five, I literally went 14 miles and it died um, after the 14th mile. So I'm sure they didn't plan that, <laughs> but uh, I, yeah, it's a mile per amp hour. But the other day when I bought, I bought a Flexvolt, um, a brand new Flexvolt battery, it comes with this amazing little, um, is it for traveling? Yeah, yeah, transport. And there you go, slides right in. And I just uh, put in some terminals and it fits perfectly. So I think this is my new, um, my new preferred way of wiring my batteries. So I can power, now I can power my Lazier Boy, my skateboard. I've got a trike at home that goes like 30 miles an hour. Um, it's all just about where do I put the batteries now and um, yeah. And how how fast. do you get more batteries? Exactly. <laughs> I'm pretty happy, man. This, this not, I want to add up how many, how much volts or watts I have just in my little battery bay, you know, for the, uh, <laughs> for the impending end of the world. I'll be able to go off, off the grid for a couple of days. There you go. Power <laughs> the house off it next. That's what we're going to try That's looking at, right? The DeWalt house. Yeah, <laughs> of course. And the DeWalt car. I mean, I was, yeah, when I got here. Powered by DeWalt, the DeWalt <laughs> life. <laughs>